<laughs> Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, to this session of Scoop School. It's lovely to have you here. We are broadcasting from St. Louis, Missouri, uh, and we wish you were here. We have a great time when we get together and film these YouTube sessions, both Frank and Madeline and Chip and the whole crew. I'll tell you who else is very supportive is Lloyds of Pennsylvania. Andy Jones, Barry Jones. Barry is the dapper elder gentleman, formulator, uh, very knowledgeable man. Andy is the son, groovy, good looking, man about town, knows a lot about mix. They develop mixes for you. They can do custom mixes. They can ship mixes to Bermuda, um, soft serve, premium, custard. Talk to them, lloydsofpa.com. The link is down below. Look, click on the link, reach out to them. A huge network, all of the suppliers that actually sponsor uh, the, uh, the YouTube videos and that are on the Scoop School website, huge knowledge base please reach out to them extract all that information you can out of them because they really are uh, mavens of the industry i'm going to talk today about cool tools cool tools cool tools uh, and we'll, we'll work on that today's cool tool is the sondico torch 400 the, the model number actually says Torch 400, would you believe it? Uh, now, I asked one of these for Christmas, actually not this Christmas, last Christmas, because I really love the process of seeing people create things in the store environment in front of the customer's very own eyes. I'm gonna give a shout out to Sweet Republic, Scottsdale, Arizona. Um, my mind escapes me on the two ladies that came, but very successful ice cream shops, graduates of Scoop School, um, and have a very, very successful, in fact, I think they were named the best ice cream in America by Bon Appetit magazine. Check them out, Sweet Republic. The first time I went there, uh, they were doing s'mores Sundays. Uh, with a blowtorch. And I know other people have done it and you see it in restaurants and so forth, but I think it's really cool. Now, so uh, we've got one of these, you can actually charge them up with gas. Uh, and here I have a replica, if you will, small sundae. So you may have chocolate ice cream, uh, some graham crackers in there, and you may wanna do a, uh, a ready to use marshmallow topping or actually put marshmallows on themselves. Here's the thing, couple of things you need to watch out for. Obviously, We've got a live flame going here, <clears throat> and you can regulate that flame um, front and back. You can make it a small flame, you can make it a big flame. Um, it's not a flame thrower per se, you're not gonna go kind of thing. Um, but you do wanna make sure that people are very careful with it, because you can burn yourself, burn your hands, so forth. Another thing too is that you don't want to get it so close to the actual container, particularly if you're using something like a plastic container, where you start to burn the container and start to set off toxic waste into the store. You don't wanna do that. And thirdly, you don't wanna have the uh, uh, marshmallows catch on fire and then having you having to blow them out particularly if you're wearing a mask, COVID, pandemic, you're not gonna get a lot of air on the hair anyway. If you pull down your mask and blow on someone Sunday, again, not a good look. So you wanna make sure that you're kind of regulatory or you're regulating the flame here. And really what it is, it's just a very light uh, go over here, almost like you would be um, putting uh, or using this on a creme brulee, so to speak. And you're really just waiting for the, uh, the sugars in the, um, in the marshmallows to just kind of, you know, uh, crystal up there a little bit. Uh, it'll give you, oh geez, we're on fire. So what do you do here, folks? You blow it out. <laughs> I'll tell you one thing, the smell of roasting marshmallows is pretty awesome. So it might take a little bit of practice here just to kind of brown these up a little bit, give them a little bit of texture. Uh, you don't want to go too crazy. Don't set them on fire. Don't burn the cup. Don't burn your hands. Uh, but I love the visuality of making a product that just has a little bit of texture, a little bit of color, a little bit of crisp to it. Really like it a lot. And as an added bonus, you can use it to light your candles. Now Madeline and I are big candle lovers down here at Scoop School. There are candles here in the lab, are candles in our office. This is a Better Homes and Gardens orange buttercream. Look, not one of the best flavors we've tried. It's okay, 
um, we'll put that down there and get the Aurora going in here. I really would recommend this as a cool tool, uh, both in formulation, you can actually uh, toast up marshmallows before you put them actually in an ice cream product, or you can use them to actually put a little bit of flair into your existing uh, ice cream products. I think it's pretty cool. I think it's a cool tool. So we will put a link to the Sandico Torch 400 down there, and you can basically buy it on Amazon, relatively inexpensive. You'll get a small uh, gas canister, you put it in the bottom, charges it up. We've been running this for about 18 months on the one charge, so lasts a lot. That's uh, Cool Tools for this week. If you have a recommendation for Cool Tools, if you're using a Cool Tool in your ice cream shop, then let us know what it is. We'll do a bit of a review on it. Again, thank you to our episode sponsor, Lloyds of Pennsylvania, Barry Jones, Andy Jones, great people. And look, if you have any conundrums, you have any problems, questions, things that you would like us to bring up and touch here on the podcast, these sessions, I should say, drop us a line, info at scoopschool.com, or simply just leave a, uh, a comment down below uh, and we'll do our best to respond. Thank you for joining us. Keep on scooping, folks. We'll see you in the next video. Cool tools, cool tools.